As requested by one of our viewers, in this tutorial, we'll discuss how to create a football in Blender software, and how to add a logo and some dirt to it, for a realistic look. So let's get started with Blender, and delete this default cube as usual. Then from the Add menu, let's add an Icosphere. Now from this Operator box, we have to change the Subdivision level to 1. Then let's go to the Modifiers tab, and add a modifier from the Generate group, called Bevel Modifier. We will switch over to this vertex option, and if we change this bevel amount slowly, we'll get a structure like this, which will form the base of our would-be football. You can change this bevel amount to 0.35, and then apply the modifier. Now we'll add a black and white checker design to convert it into a football, but right now it has no material, and it looks all white. So let's go to the Materials tab, and create a new material. We will go with this default color for the first material, and then add another slot here, into this material list. Then create a material for this second slot, and this time, we'll change the color to complete black. But in order to apply this black material to some selected parts of our model, first get into the edit mode, and enable this face selection. Then select a pentagon face here, and go to the select menu. Under select similar, we have to select polygon sides. So all the pentagons will get selected together. Now let's select the black material in the material list and click on this assign button. So the pentagons will get the black materials. Now press A to select all the faces, then hover your mouse and hold on this extrude tool, then select the option extrude individual. Then hold the yellow handle here and move it upward for a small extrusion. We can fine tune the value directly from here, let's enter 0.05 and close this box. Now press N on your keyboard, or click on this arrow button to bring this side menu, and then change this mean crease value to 1. So we're good to go back to the object mode. Now, go to the modifiers tab, and add a subdivision surface modifier from here. We have to switch over to the simple option, and then change these levels to 2, or 3. Then minimize this modifier, and add another modifier from the deform group, called cast modifier. It will give a more round shape to this beveled sphere. We have to select the sphere option, and then we can change this factor value to say 0.9. Now select the sphere to highlight it, and enable the shade smooth option from here. So we're ready with a decent football or soccer ball. Now in the next step, we'll learn how to perfectly attach a logo onto this round surface. So let's go to the file menu, and from the import group, we'll select images as planes. Then we have to select the logo picture, and it must have a transparent background, otherwise it won't look good. By default, the logo is added at the 3D cursor location, so let's bring it out along the x-axis, it should stay just above the target surface where we want to project it. Now press 3 on the number pad, to go to the side view mode, and since we need to make it smaller in size, let's change these scale factors to 0.5. But let's say we want to project it on this black area. So select the ball, and slightly change its rotation, it would be the Y rotation angle in this case, such that the black area stays just behind the logo. But to fit the logo perfectly on this area, we may need to resize it further down, or scale it up as needed. So this looks good, now in order to actually project the logo on the ball, go to the Modifiers tab, and first subdivide the mesh, by adding a subdivision surface modifier. Then switch over to the simple option, and increase both of these levels to 3, or maybe 4. Now minimize this subdivision modifier, and from the deform group, add a shrink wrap modifier. In the wrap method, select the project option, and the snap mode should be outside surface. Then we need to enable this negative option, because the positive x-axis is along this line, and we want to project it to the sphere, which means the projection is on the negative side. You can actually enable the negative and the positive both, and in this target object, we need to select our football. So the logo is now superimposed, but it is overlapping with the texture of the ball. To rectify this issue, we need to add a small offset, like 0.005. Now select the logo, then press the shift key and select the football, then press ctrl p to bring this menu, and select, object keep transform. It will basically set the logo as a child of the football, so we can freely rotate the football in any direction, the logo will remain attached to it, and we can even move the ball somewhere else, the logo will always remain attached. So the first two objectives are met, now in the next step, We'll discuss how to add some dirt to this ball, so that it looks more real, and we'll use a simple node setup. In one of our previous tutorials, we have discussed how to create a rust effect on any surface, 
This tutorial link is given below in the video description. We will use a similar node tree here, for the dust or the dirt effect on our football. Let's split this screen into half, as we need to work in the shader editor, and first we'll select the white material from the material list. We need to use a noise texture node here, connected to a color ramp, and the output of this can be used as our base color. To get a better result, we can change this details value to 10, and if we increase the roughness to 1, we'll get the initial version of our dirt map for the football. We can easily change this pattern by changing the scale factor. You can use whatever looks good, let's change it to say 3. And in order to customize these colors, we need to change the colors for these two handles. For the black handle, we need to set up some light color, it can have a gray tint, like this. And for the white handle, we'll select a dark color, or rather we can just use a dark shade of the same gray color. Together they will give us a nice texture. We can make it even better by adding some bump to the normal input, we need to connect this FAC to the height input of this bump node. The strength can be 0.2, and the distance value can be 0.5. Then connect this bump output to the normal input of our primary shader, it will give us a leather-like outlook for the white part. Now we'll do a similar node setup for the black material, so select this second slot and remove this material. Then from this drop-down list, select the same white material that we have just set up, and then click on this copy button. We will get a new material here, with a similar setup, but we have to change these colors this suitable. We'll set this to complete black, and for the first handle, we'll use a very dark value, like 0.04. So we'll get a nice texture for the black area, it looks very real, like a ball that has been used many times, and you can apply this technique for any other similar objects as well. Finally, we have to add a dirty look for this logo, we'll first enable the shade smooth option, which we forgot earlier. When we import an image, we get this default node setup created by Blender, but we'll use a different material here, with our own node setup. It has the same noise texture like before, and it goes through a color ramp node, but the color values are different. If you are a member of this channel, you can download this blend file with the node setup, otherwise just pause the video and take a note of this. So we're mixing this color with the logo picture, and using that mixed output as our base color. Then we are mixing this again with a transparent BSDF using a mixed shader, and the mixing factor is driven by the alpha input of our logo. With this node set up, we'll get a result like this. The football along with the logo, now looks very real, and remember that you must use an appropriate lighting to get the best results. We have used HDRI lighting for this scene, along with a low power sunlight, for better shadow effects. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and join us as a member.